few weeks ago, we brought you this story. Florida Congressman and double amputee war vet Brian Mass personally walked into the VA hospital in West Palm Beach and put up their missing portraits of the president, of President Trump, and newly minted VA Secretary David Shulkin. Yeah, and while the VA may have ordered all facilities to put them up immediately, the Port St. Lucie, Florida facility was a little late to the game, leaving up an empty frame alongside a portrait of former Secretary Robert McDonald. Well, here to tell us about his interaction at the VA is Vietnam vet Joe Carollo. Nice to see you this morning, Joe. Hey, how are you? Good morning. What prompted you to do this? Well, I walked in. It wasn't right. It was very disrespectful. I, uh, you know, I couldn't believe my eyes that there was no picture there, and there was a plant right in front of it. It kind of bothered me a little bit. So what'd you do? You know, what did I do? I went up to the re uh, receptionist there, and I spoke to the receptionist. And uh, she told me that uh, it was out of her control, that uh, she had to go uh, get a hold of somebody in Palm Beach. They had all the control of that. And, uh, Joe, and then that, after, that afternoon, they put, it, they put the picture up. What is it about yeah. the system in the VA? Because I've talked to a lot of highly competent receptionists in a lot of places who say, hey, if something's broken well, five feet away from me, I'm going to fix it, and I have the power to do so. What is it about the VA that their first reflex is, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I've I got to stare at an empty frame. Well, of course, they're nervous to talk, and I spoke to some uh, employees over there, and, they, and they're afraid to talk because they don't want to get fired. And, uh, you, know, you know, who knows uh, Who knows why they're going to get fired if they do if they, well, they can't the get truth. fired. Right. It's bureaucracy, <laughs> right? I can't hang up a... I'm sure you can put in printer paper in the printer if it's empty. Do you need to call somebody to find out about that, too? I know. That's ridiculous. Who knows, you know, in that uh, system there. The system's so screwed up. That, uh, you know, they, well, what Joe, they're trying to do is they, they're trying to put five pounds of bologna in a two pound bag. That's what they're yeah. trying to do over there. Why do you think the veterans, they, you they took the photos down, though? What's going on where you are? I'm sorry, say again. Why, why did they take the photos down? I don't think they ever had it up. They never, they put never up. had the photo up. There. No, they had uh, McDonald uh, next, next to the uh, blank uh, frame. All right, well, what, but what are they angry? But what are they upset about? Why would they not want their photos? I mean, that has been a tradition for a long time, but you well, have them in every VA facility. I have uh, three or four people that sent me some uh, locations where there's still no pictures up. Yeah, this is not just in these locations. You're exactly right, Joe. Uh, Joe, we, we want to we thank you for, you know, vets take proactive measures when others won't, like a bureaucracy, like you said, Clayton. Thanks for taking the stand, for taking the picture and exposing it, and for being on the show this morning. We really appreciate it.